Well, back to the ice in Class 2A, Brainerd Little Falls is getting ready for their first ever trip to the state tournament. Clayton Castle has more on the Warriors as they prep for the X tomorrow evening. History is in the making for the Brainerd Little Falls Warriors as the team heads down to the XL Energy Center as the first hockey team from Brainerd to make a state tournament. It's a blessing, actually, because it's kind of like my last chance ever to like take this opportunity and really run with it, so it's really cool. Friday night's thrilling win over Rozo in the section finals was exhilarating for the team and the fans, but the girls know it's just another step towards the ultimate goal. I knew I had to come out confident. We all knew we had to come out strong right away from the start and keep playing through and keep playing our game. We kind of tired them out this year. I feel like last year we kind of ran out of gas a little bit, but the, it was like the roles were reversed this year. Awaiting the Warriors at the X is top-seeded Adina, which boasts multiple Division I recruits. But that doesn't fret the Warriors as they will just stick to the game plan and give it all they've got. We need to remember to keep true to our preparation before the games, and that's really what our coach stressed before the Rozo game. And I think if we do that, we can do well. No matter what happens at the X, the team has been gratified by the community support it has felt over the past week. It's just neat for the girls to be able to be part of that, you know. Um, and it's one of those opportunities that you're never guaranteed anything, so you want to make the most of it. The X will play host to the Brainerd Little Falls Edina matchup on Thursday night at 6 p.m. Clayton Castle, Lakeland News. And of course, those two teams met earlier this season at the Edina tournament, and they won 4-1. to one. So a little, little payback, a little rematch here for Brainerd Little Falls in quarterfinals. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.